We apologize if this video is very chaotic and all over the place, but Jarhead's never filmed a gear video. I haven't filmed one in years. We don't even have a script. Hey guys, Dirty Avocado here. And Jarhead. We are hiking the Hey Duke. So we both have new packs for this hike. We both have Plante packs. Uh, they got a good amount of space to put lots of stuff in for both small and big resupplies. Uh, nice water bottle pockets on the side. Lots of pockets around the pack pack. On the bottom, on the shoulder strap, a nice pocket on the back. Uh, we've both used these packs on different hikes before, and they hold up really well. The one I used to have is very dirty, so it's nice to have a fresh, clean, white pack to get annihilated in the desert dirt. Jarhead's like relatively new to Palante packs. I've been using them for several years. What I really love about Palante packs is that they're pretty simple, but with that said, still with a lot of like functionality in mind. But pretty like bare bones you know you don't have a um what's it called the back support internal frame you don't have an internal frame you don't have like big bulky hip belt it's meant to be able to i guess travel light and fast we're not really fast though we just like the light part <laughs> uh something else that's new part of the big three is a tent we used this Z-Pax uh, duo tent last year on a couple hikes, and we really like it. We used a one-person tent for far too long, and that was difficult, as you can imagine, with the rain and the amount of space, and it felt like I was crawling into a coffin each night. I hated yeah. going to sleep. So it's wonderful to have a tent that is huge. We call it the mansion. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I, It's perfect for two people. Maybe not like the lightest two-person CPAX tent ever, but still pretty light. It's like 19 ounces. With that said, we also have a brand new two-person quilt from CPAX. Disclaimer, though, they are not selling this uh sleeping quilt anymore they're discontinuing it so we got one of the last ones but love it i mean just like to have a two-person sleeping bag in general is amazing i sleep really cold at night so it's really nice to have someone else's warmth to steal throughout the night yeah even if you can't get a z-pax two-person quilt uh the two-person quilt has been pretty great it's basically just a giant blanket so if you're looking for to save weight with your buddy on the AT or the PCT, consider getting a two-person quilt. You really have to like your buddy though, if that's what you're gonna go for. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. We're It's totally brand new to us though. This is the first trail we'll ever hike with it. So we'll let you guys know how that goes by the end of this hike. Also with the new quilt, we have changed uh, our sleeping pad system. We've always had sleeping pads, but now we have two that are of a boxier shape. They're the Nemo, Nemo Tensor pads, and they're both pretty square, so they fit inside the tent uh, and create a giant mattress. We also have straps for them. Uh, they go over the pads that uh, keep them close together, because if you don't have straps, they the pads tend to run away from each other during the night. Yeah. Uh, so the straps have been good, and it basically creates a giant mattress inside the tent. We are definitely prioritizing more comfort over weight lately. <laughs> so it's been, I mean, we've had it for one night uh, yesterday, and it's been good. So we'll see also how the, the pads uh, hold up with pokey stuff and just like the harsh terrain out here in the desert. Yeah, these are one night reviews, so take that as you will. There are a lot more things out in the desert that like to pop, scratch, bludgeon, destroy your gear. It's impossible to do it like perfectly, obviously, because we're literally just like dirt people living in the dirt for a 
several weeks, but we can still try our best to it, keep things clean, right? <laughs> yes. I've stopped bringing my pet cactus into the tent at night, and I think that has made a big difference. Uh, there's a couple things beyond those bigger items. I like to utilize the bag system. I just have three giant Ziploc bags, so it helps keep things organized. Uh, I like Ziplocs compared to stuff sacks because it's just... They're just better. It's They're just better. You can actually see what's inside too. Like some stuff sacks, you can't see what's inside and you're like digging around trying to find stuff. And they're waterproof. Yeah. With like little things like that. Yeah, I have like um little toiletry slash first aid Ziploc. I have an electronics Ziploc. Yeah, so Ziplocs are really helpful. Um, specifically for the desert, there's a couple things. Uh, that I like to bring. One is the sit pad that we're on. Um, this one's from Sunshi Designs and we also have a Gossamer Gear one. For the desert, they're really great because you do um, wanna sit down a lot and sometimes what you're sitting on is very sandy or dirty or you're already wet or there's lots of reasons. Uh, so these thin pads are great. Another great item for the desert, um, that I usually bring on most hikes, but specifically because uh, it can get hot and it can get very sandy and dirty, is wet wipes. Um, I just like to use them to kind of stop chafing before it happens. And they're also good for your feet too if you want to clean them at the end of the night. So wet wipes are great to prevent chafing, uh, which leads to death, and then also blisters on your feet. I don't really use wet wipes. I like to use a bandana. At the end of each day, I will clean my feet off with some water and dry off with a bandana. The bandana is kind of multi-purpose. <laughs> like sometimes I will use it after I pee. But the thing is, is that I will constantly be rinsing the bandana off. It's like constantly being rinsed and then it dries, right? Like in a second because we're out here boiling in the desert and then it'll be used again to dry something because it'll be dry by that point. And then at night, it's always usually dry by night and then it's used as my towel to wipe off. Yeah, the bandana has many okay. purposes. Yeah, and it weighs practically nothing. Yeah, and it kind of makes you feel like a cowboy. And then they just, they dry so quickly. Bandanas just dry so quickly and there's just, they're big, a lot of surface area and you can use certain parts of it for certain things. I don't know, I yeah. like it. Choose your favorite color. And finally, some fun things that you have on a hike because it's not all serious and it's meant to have a good time. I got a couple of things to keep me entertained. One, I have a cork ball to roll out my feet. Uh, awesome. It's a very fun activity and also it can be thrown into the air and caught so you can play catch with yourself. That is fun. And the item that saved our hike on the Grand Enchantment Trail and will perhaps save our hike on the Hayduke is my tiny speaker that I got at Walmart. It does allow two people to listen to an audiobook aloud, which is nice on road walks, and to party at camp if you want to. Usually I just like the silence and the sound of birds, but sometimes a little music a lifts little music the mood. A little music don't hurt nobody. No, it don't. Nobody hurt okay. when the music is playing. Uh, you know what I, we forgot to mention? What? That we have a tiny electric pump to blow up our sleeping pads because we are just, we've had it. We've had it with being out of breath. Yes, I can't believe that I forgot the greatest <laughs> item ever invented. You click the button and it shoots air into your pad and blows it up. And it's like this little. It is tiny. What about our fanny packs? Uh, we have fanny packs on this hike. We both have new ones from Hartford Gear Company. You know what's funny? So we had these custom made. I specifically wanted a white one with like a colorful zipper because I really wanted to get it dirty. I was super excited and Jarhead got a green one, like an army green grit stop. Cool zipper, super cool. But then she wanted mine. But then so she has my... First day on the trail, I'm like, wait a minute. I actually kind of really want that green one and it will match my pack even more. And I think that pink looks really cute with a jarhead and his matches his pack because it's white. So I have a new fanny pack and all I use for it is to put a camera in it. There are only like a 1.2 liter fanny packs so are not super huge and there's like the perfect amount of pockets in them. 
Yeah, we'll leave most of the our gear in the description uh, so you can look at it and ask questions too. We didn't cover everything. Uh, we didn't cover what shoes we're wearing or what clothes we're wearing as well. Yes, yeah, so that's our stuff. Uh, let us know what gear you think will fail first and which gear you think will be our favorites by the end. All right, guys, so the camera is actually about to die. Yeah, it was really fun to make this video, making gear videos again. And we're hiking the Hayduke Trail, hopefully making it all the way to Zion, 850-ish um, miles later. Yeah, we won't really have service ever on this trail. So uh, after this video, don't expect anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can send a postcard to the south rim of the Grand Canyon with your comment, and we will try to respond in a timely manner. Thank you. Okay.